Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go ahead and finish the SL55. I'm really excited. I haven't driven this car since September. Today it is March 2nd and I'm like just, it's been six, nearly six months of me just waiting every single day to get this thing put back together. We do have a couple things we need to do first before we can get this thing on the road. First thing that we got to do, obviously, is put on the bumper. But before we do that, we have to fix this oil cooler. It's leaking a little bit. Uh, the fitting isn't necessarily uh, sitting properly tight enough. So if we're going to go ahead and tighten that up a bit. Other than that, in the engine bay, we got to go ahead and get this belt back on. But the engine's basically ready to run. It's ready for its tune. I got my tune from VTech Georgia. Um, I will let you guys know how the tune is after I put everything back together. But once the tune is in, we're going to put the bumper on. As far as the bumper goes, we got to get the uh, lighting fix fixed up for that. So I bought these fog lights on Amazon. Really, really uh, nice lights. And um, you guys will see that later on. But once the tune is in, we're going to go ahead and button everything up in the engine just once over do it once over quickly put on the front bumper and hopefully drive this thing home we shall see how it uh goes when i put it in idle give it a couple passes and then uh check the iats i just want to make sure i'm taking home a car that is solid enough to drive and that isn't running too rich or too lean i'm excited so up next for us, we're gonna go ahead and get the tune uh, off of the link that VTech has sent us. Once we get the tune, we're gonna go ahead, move the car into the garage, put it on the rack, and start working on getting everything buttoned up and then put the belt back on, do the tune, put the, put the rear battery on a uh, charger, and um, get that thing going. Also the tune that when they send over the tune, they really go into detail exactly on how to go ahead and install the software. So uh, for those of you that have never done a tune, this is basically what it looks like. Time to go ahead and bring the SL in the bay. Are you tightening it or opening? Tightening it. Just a little bit. Not too much. Don't put too much pressure on it. Good. You want to do any more? No, that should be enough. Guys, it's time to do the tune. As you can see, my OBD2 port is connected to the USB port, and this is basically what the system looks like. I am about to click open file, and we shall see. And then we say download file. That's working. And now we wait. So it so far took about 253 seconds, but let's five, four, three. Oh, there it is, it's done. Closing ECU, okay. I have no idea what that says. So what's crazy is every time the, the fan kicks in, 
the lights um, kind of jitter a little bit. When it turns off, look, see MPH is kind of flickering. See? Very interesting. Attenzione. I gotta, I gotta figure out what that means. I'm dead. It literally says switch the ignition off for 10 seconds. I'm dead. All right. Turn on dashboard. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's actually it. Yep, that is it. Okay, so uh, tuner set to start the engine. So let's go ahead and give dad his computer back and uh, start this engine up. And all right, let's go ahead and start this guy up. Put on the brake. I have no idea how long this is supposed to stay on for, but uh, we'll just leave it on for a minute um, just so it gets us. So one nice thing is that it's not running uh, too rich anymore, so that's one thing. Another thing, see, see how the harmonic balancer is shaking a little bit? I'm gonna have dad look at that. I'm gonna have dad look at the harmonic balancer. So I just turned off the car, it ran for about a minute and a half or so. Uh, I'm turning on the fan so I can let out all that excess air and um fumes out of the uh garage once all that's cleared out we're gonna go ahead put this back up and start uh we're gonna plug out the o2 sensor plug it back in so it can read the fuel mixture correctly once all of that's done we're gonna go ahead and install the bumper and the under panels and that'll be it okay when we have it on the ground and the belt on you'll see it wobbling See, it's literally coming off these seams right here. Yeah. Hold on to this. See, it's so solid. So these are pretty cool little fog lights. They, um, they were pretty cheap on Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below. So if you guys have anything along the lines of these cars, you guys can go ahead and purchase these. They will fit on your car. Now, that being said, I uh, got these uh, LED lights sponsored by a key. These guys uh, sent over these really cool LED lights that are really look like nicely made. And truly, uh, they're meant for headlights and so forth for like other cars. These are H7s. I'm gonna be using them in place for my fog lights. And uh, one thing about me is that I can't see at night at all. That's why I did the whole headlight retrofit for the SL and uh, doing the fog lights. I mean, it's a little bit more light than what it used to be. Um, I kind of like shot myself in the foot getting these uh, smoked out uh, lenses, but I really don't care. The whole point of these uh, is to make sure that I have fog lights uh, just in case of anything, you know, they're there. They are really bright, so I will show you once I test fit them, put them on, you'll see how bright these get. So here we have the new fog light. We're gonna go ahead and just retrofit these LED lights into them. So I already did it with this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and do it with the other one. Very simple process. Um, one of these tabs right here, they need to be bent. So I'll go ahead and just bend it quickly. Now that this piece is now all bent, we're gonna go ahead and set everything up for this. So twist this out, this, that, that, all in that order. Grab this, put this one back on, there we go. And just like that, now it's back on. Put it very simple, very easy. All right, cool. They are all plugged in now, and we'll go ahead and install them on the car. Are we ready?
Okay. Well, that's the uh, bumper barely on. We're gonna revisit this when it's time to wrap the car. But as for now, it is ready to come down. And that is the bumper on. Now we're just gonna epoxy this because that broke because of me leaning up against it and sawing the split cooling. And that is it. That's the car put back together. Now let's go ahead, start it up, and take it outside. So here is to my first start with the tune. Want to get inside the car? I have both of them casing that way. They're both fine. Hey guys, that's it. Um, you saw the first drive, having some uh, convenience function problems, but other than that, I mean, the car is in decent power. And uh, yeah, about to drive it home. Super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. This car is not done yet. We still have so much more to do to it, but as for now, Version 3 has concluded. Thank you.